Well, this morning I've returned to the side of Clumber Park. This is where Clumber borders the A614. And I'm just in a bit of beach woodland, just north of the Clumber Hotel. I just come for a, a quick wander. Now, this was a site that I visited earlier on this year on the trail of Platybunas Pine Torum, which was the harvestman new to Nottinghamshire last year. And already, despite the temperatures being sub-zero for a couple of nights and a bit of snow yesterday morning and it's still cold today with a temperature no more than 3 degrees centigrade it looks like today is going to be another Harvestman Fest but this time it's not Platybunus Pintorum, it's Diacranopalpus Ramosus I've only been here, well, 10 minutes. I've just walked further down from where I parked the car and I lay by. And I've just seen two Dicranopalpus ramosus on two separate trees, just adjacent to this one. This tree, however, has five Dicranopalpus ramosus on the trunk. have to presume that it's Diacranopalpus ramosus rather than Diacranopalpus cordatus. I've never found cordatus in Nottinghamshire yet. Every one I've ever checked has been ramosus and I've had no reason to suspect any Diacranopalpus species as being anything else other than ramosus. But I'm amazed to find it openly on the trunks of these beech trees. They typically go darker, like this specimen, as they age, and certainly once the temperature starts to drop, they will be dark. Normally when you would see these earlier in the year, from late summer onwards, these are quite silvery grey. But this Dicranopalpus ramosus isn't the only arachnid that's on this trunk. Because here's a spider that I have featured before, and this is Drapitesca socialis. It's a common enough spider, and especially on smooth barked trees like beech. You can find it on other trunks, but it's far easier to, to see on the trunks of beech. Now that there's two of these on here, and it's not a big spider. And you can see, despite the cold temperatures, this one is active. Now, Drapitesca socialis is a fairly common spider. It's probably more common than records would currently suggest. And it's a late season spider as well, appearing any time from sort of August onwards. And it does a lot of this, sitting on the bark of trees. This area of woodland was totally different, obviously, earlier in the year. And this was carpeted with bluebells. And not only was the floor carpeted with blue bowls, but the trunks of these beaches were literally covered with the harvestman Platybunus pintorum. 
Now, the discovery of Pinetorum here and in the numbers that were present was quite remarkable. And in the UK, unique, as far as I'm aware. It seems that elsewhere in the UK, Platybunus pintorum is a harvestman of synanthropic habitats, i.e. in urban and suburban sites. And it's probably because people aren't looking for them in woodland sites. Nottingham's first was at Holborn Hill Plantation, which itself is an area of beech woodland very similar to this and it's when I started to expand my survey away from Holborn Hill Plantation that I found that Pintorum occurred just local to that site on other beech trees within the area so I extended my survey kept going out looking for areas of beach woodland and this was one of the ones that I found and this was by far the largest count and I think part of the key to Pintoro in Nottinghamshire may be that on the left hand side the road A614 there's a lay by just where the headlights of that car are just coming through the trees now and I think lay bys are probably a key factor in the distribution of pine taurum. I was able to find it it's a similar site to this, but it was sweet chestnuts on the top side of Clumber. But there was a lay-by nearby. And at a couple of other sites as well. The distribution of Platybunus pintorum eventually, last year at least, turned out to be in the Mansfield and outer line areas of Sherwood Forest. Found it very close to to within the Sherwood Forest NNR, yards in fact, but not actually in it, although it is undoubtedly tucked away in there. So if anyone's watching this from elsewhere in the UK and would like to see Platybunus pintorum, I suggest that from late March and early April, get out and examine beech trees that have growing close to a road especially if it's a main route and a road with lay vines and there is another species that could potentially be here if there is a link between the two species and this is another one of just over 20 Dichronopulpus ramosus. This one's been a bit active because it's not in the typical resting posture. Dichronopulpus ramosus usually holds all four legs on either side of the body out at right angles and hunched together. And this one's a little bit more open and you can see that it's slightly raised from the trunk. These can survive during favourable and mild winters well into to January. I thought we might even have a, a later record than that. But as I mentioned before, for a, originally what is in a Mediterranean species, it's amazing it survives here at all. I've already shown you Dichronopulpus ramosus, but there is another Dichronopulpus which has appeared 
these last few years. And that's Diacranopalpus lavatus. Now, lavatus hasn't been found in Nottinghamshire yet. It's still only found at a relatively few sites in the UK, but has turned up in Yorkshire. I imagine it to be in Nottinghamshire, and I think there could possibly be a link, or I'm hoping that there might be a link between Laybys and Beach Woodland for Diacranopalpus larvatus, as there is for Platybunus pintorum. Maybe that's how larvatus has appeared and has spread in the UK. And larvatus is quite interesting as it matures during the winter months. So it's a species that you can find during the winter. Unlike Diacranopalpus ramosus, which is more arboreal, Diacranopalpus lavatus seems to be a harvestman of the ground layer and is often found underneath underneath logs. So that's where I'll be searching a lot during this winter. And I'm hoping to today. So there's potentially another species to look out for, and it could be here. And even though this species will occur late in the year, I think this is my latest ever. This is an oak bush cricket. And it's a female, and you can tell it's a female because it's got the, the curved ovipositor. It's amazing the inverts are still relatively active. This is a nocturnal species, but quite commonly found in situations like this, where it sits at openly on the trunks of trees. But we're in the last few days of November now, and this species is still, or well, this individual, is still going about its business albeit probably very slowly. Finding an invertebrate like this just shows you what's about, even in the colder parts of the year. And indeed, invertebrate activity for some species actually reaches a peak during the colder months of the year. And you can see here in this chap, or chapess, she's still active. It's amazing how animals and insects in particular have adapted to a life in the cold. Whereas we haven't. We put a coat on or a jumper. In the southern part of the county, there's now the southern oak bush cricket, which is one to look out for. And the difference is that the ovipositor is straight on the southern oak bush cricket. But this one's now becoming active, probably due to the warmth in my hands. And it's quite a decent sized species. Found on a range of trees. Well, in fact, one of the best sites for this species is on the lime trees in the grounds of Workshop Priory. But this one can go and sit on there till it probably decides to go and have a wander this evening under the cover of darkness. Similar with these Diacranopolbus remosus look. See, look how active they are. I didn't expect at all that I'd be counting Diacranopalpus ramosus today. Didn't really think I'd see anything, to be honest, but it pays to go out with an open mind. And also pays 
and it just goes to show that you don't quite exactly know whatever you know what you're going to find. But now with this passing traffic on the 8614, I'm starting to get some strange looks. You have to be careful in these parts, otherwise you get the wrong reputation. I have a bad reputation anyway to start with. So, without further ado, I think it's time to go back and put some dinner on. Hungarian goulash today for me. I could eat it now.